Elisa, two days into fall camp, what's the best thing you have seen at this point as the defensive coordinator? Oh, the food's been really good. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of broccoli and protein has been good. They, Hard to argue really with that. Yeah. Broccoli, really? Yeah. You don't like broccoli? Well, if I have some lemons. Yeah, yeah I yeah. guess. I've never tried that. Try it. Yeah. It's not really about taste after a while. It's just really about getting the, the right nutrients and protein in your yeah. body. Right. This is blended this up. off to an amazing start. Yeah. Tree bark, <laughs> tree, tree bark, whatever you have to do, you just got to munch it down and get and get out of there. You and your kale and quinoa. Come on, man. <laughs> no, but no, but what uh, what is the best food for your defense? You're like, OK, I want to I want these guys to have great protein. I want them to have energy. What's the food that you're like? OK, we got to eat this. Ooh, I can't. I don't know, that's a hard one, man. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Probably classic. Yeah. You just got to go with the old school. I mean, they're all used to it, right? It, who, who doesn't eat that when you're young, yeah. right? Open up your lunch sack and it's there. So s something they're familiar with. All right, with. this segment My, on nutrition yeah. brought to you by Elisa Tuiaki. Mild disappointment player. when I opened it up and it was PB&J. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like, oh, man, again? I love peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> uh, it's, it's tough to tell, like, what your team is capable of so early in camp. But, I mean, what, when, you, when you're trying to pick out positives and, and you're – you're gaining energy, and you're looking for for good things that you're seeing from your players. What are you seeing? They're 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 playing hard. You know, they're playing hard, and uh, having the veteran group back is really it's it's been really good for their confidence. And um, the young kids, I think, are coming along uh, quickly. The learning curve is really really good for them. Um, but they're, they're I mean they're playing hard. You know, and, and that's that's always a good thing when you're talking defense. How much do you pick up where you left off last year versus there are new guys that weren't a part of that defense and you have to get them reps and teach them the defense? It's, you know, the, the game has so many nuances and especially um, certain positions, you know, playing corner it, for, for like Keenan Ellis, who, who was a receiver and quarterback and, and a skilled player in high school and come play corner. I mean, it's it's a whole new ball game for him. And so I'll just learn all the nuances of where, where to align you know where their eyes are you know down a distance all that now everything really becomes overwhelming and it's the same thing with you know some of the young d linemen it's it's uh you know what's a down distance well i don't know i was just really trying to get aligned you know and and uh so they're just getting them to kind of get it and, and feel comfortable with all the nuances of the game is really it so we've been trying to keep it simple for them and, and just let them play fast how comfortable do you feel as the defensive coordinator at this point last year to this year um Wait, what's the, about me? Yeah. Oh, I, I feel feel better. <laughs> <laughs> last, last year was, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of late nights staying up, just kind of questioning myself and all that. But I mean, and I I've always had uh, you know good staff and obviously a really good head coach and people to to bounce ideas off of as well as just kind of uh, you know uh, validate some of the the thoughts and ideas and. And uh, so, you know, having last year under our belt and coming back this year with the kids feeling as confident as they are really makes me feel good. How much more advanced is your playbook this year versus last, or do you keep it the same, or do you even simplify it more? Uh, you know, we try to keep it simple, whether, you know, whether we're changing it or not. And there, there, there's a couple of things that we change that we like better um, and some things that we left the same, you know. But it's, it's all really about um, – having something that you're really good at and having a good change up you know and and so that's really we're just trying to keep it as simple as possible keep it uh, keep the change ups good enough where we can still throw offenses off and and make things look the same but actually do something different and we really keep it simple for the kids Sione Takitaki spoke with the media yesterday and kept reiterating I, I'm just so blessed to be back I'm, I'm so glad to be back and talked about how he had to watch BYU from his couch last year and how hard that was on him Having him back on the field, what does that do for your defensive line? I mean, it adds uh, adds a, adds a great kid, you know, a great kid, uh, passionate leader, but also he is really, really fast off the edge. And so, um, you know, and I, it, I, as a coach, you appreciate a kid that's been through something like that. Um, you know, he's he's so grateful. He's he's uh, really, really pays attention and, and you know goes the extra mile to do things just because he appreciates it more you know I think there's something to be said about kids that appreciate things um, even when you're recruiting you know kids that come back that have been here and also kids that you're recruiting just uh, kids that appreciate things work really really hard how do you see this team matching up in terms of the what you ID'd last year is the top two things on defense points allowed and turnovers how do you feel about this group uh, you know, we're, we, we haven't really talked much about the goals yet. Everything is, is kind of just been um, about taking the first step. 
Um, but obviously those those will be when we go into the fall it'll be it'll be emphasis and it'll be things that we talk about as we get comfortable in our scheme and we start really rolling with scrimmages and all that stuff with the offense I mean um, that, that, that that's that's a big big deal to us an individual in the offseason will like if I'm a basketball player I'll be like I need to improve my jump shot or whatever collectively as a defense do you as the D coordinator ID okay I'd like to get more pass rush and more what like we're good here let's let's develop this part did that happen in this offseason yeah and I think everybody does that you 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 have to look at your your defense and figure out you know where you can get better and where you feel comfortable with but obviously everybody you know uh, with the the veteran backers that come back you feel good you want to tighten things up and you know, we talked about that in the first day of uh, fall camp was was uh, not being settled. You know, d being a person that's humble enough to be developed. And that's, you know, you, you, you see a lot of kids that you recruit. And I was thinking about this about the summer. You see a lot of kids that you recruited that all of a sudden disappear, right? Like you go to a program and whether it's yours, I mean, whether yours or, or whatever, it's a kid starts to disappear because they were a highly recruited kid that just never never continued to be developed and so you know like Fred Warner for instance right really really good backer I think the the there's a lot of uh you know talk about him as a as a as a legit NFL guy and it's it's uh, continuing to be developed continuing to be humble enough to listen and know that there's things to work on and I mean you, you never be good enough you know and I think as long as you have that attitude you, you can uh, you'll always get better and, and just you know grow how so you, and you still get after Fred of course, Someone, you get. A, tell me, get you get after, after Fred, Fred right? right? Well, now, now you have to define what get after means. <laughs> Develop him. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know that's uh, we were today. You know, just talking about stuff, and so it's and, and he's Fred. Fred's never been that that uh, you know personality to uh, be a contrarian right off the bat. But he's he's uh, really listens and and uh, it's it's good to have conversation too because he'll tell you well I thought this is better and then you can actually as a coach think about it well you, you might be right or no the reason why you're not doing it is because because you would end up giving this up versus doing that and and it's really good con a conversation and uh you know I, I think it's uh trust building as well you know where he feels like he's not just trying to tell me what to do he actually wants me to 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 get better as a person and you know do what's best for the team we just want fred to get razzed a little bit that's, that's someone's got to do it it's probably got to be you. okay yeah why me? <laughs> You're the defensive coordinator. I don't know if you knew this. You got to give it to Troy. Let Troy do it. Okay. okay. Troy will do okay. it. Okay, so channel, <laughs> that plenty. Through, channel that through Troy. Uh, how close to establishing a depth chart for the fall season are you at this point? The, a lot of young kids are playing right now. And like I you know, was telling you right before we got here, it's for the D-line, it's fake football. You know, we don't have pads yet, and you can't really – some guys are kind of slipping off blocks and really getting in the backfield and like, oh, dude, I'm disruptive. <laughs> you don't have no pads on. You know? It's like that, that's not as realistic as, as, as it just looks right now. And so when we get pads on and we actually see who can hold the blocks, who can really defeat blocks and all that stuff, we start to develop something there. And, you know, the, the, the secondary and some of the young kids there at the backer group, it's really just how fast they get the scheme and move around and – you know, we'll see. It's, so we don't, you know, to answer your question, we haven't really um, solidified a depth chart yet. We're still getting a, getting a look at everybody. I know you've got a big meal of broccoli and uh, tree bark to get to, so we'll, we'll, we'll let you get there in just a second. But I have one more question. Uh, where's Mo Longy at in his development? People are so interested in just seeing his progression. Where's he at? Uh, he's as raw as you can imagine. And so, you know, I'll, I'll give him time, be patient with him. He's a great kid. He's a fast learner, but uh, I mean, hey, line up to the field. What's the field? <laughs> well, we're on the field, right? It's like little things like that. Where's the line of scrimmage? You know, like uh, it's little things like that. You got to teach him because the game is he's never really played. And, sure. And all, all the things that you take for granted, you just say in a meeting, you look over and he's just like, you know, he gives you that blank stare. You know, it's just like, OK. He doesn't know what that means. <laughs> you got to back it up a little bit and explain. So it, it, it'll take time, but he's a quick learner, and he's got a great attitude about it. All right, we appreciate the update. We we'll look forward to uh, some real football coming up here in fall camp, not just fake football, and enjoy the broccoli and tree Lemons. Bark. Get some lemons on Take this. Take Reno with you, too. <laughs> that guy. He needs some broccoli. That guy just needs tree bark for the rest of his life. <laughs> thanks, Elisa. All right, thanks.